Hi, my name is Jacqueline, and I tutor English language arts, English as a second language, and Spanish. Hola, me llamo Jacqueline, y yo doy clases en inglés académico, inglés como lengua extranjera, y en español. We all have that ideal goal of, I want to be able to speak this fluently, have conversations that are seamless, not miss a beat. And I think that anyone can get there, but it's very important to understand and accept that you have to actively practice any language that you are learning, even your own native language, right? It's very important to understand that learning a language is not something that you can do overnight. It requires a lot of dedication, a lot of practice and consistent practice, which is the most important thing. You have to face your fears with making errors because making those mistakes and being able to correct them later is the most important piece to learning a language. I was actually a student that was very shy in terms of speaking because I was absolutely mortified to make mistakes at the beginning when I started learning. And it's something that admittedly looking back, it held me back in my learning for the first few years because I was very adverse to making mistakes. I would feel embarrassed. I would feel like I didn't want to talk another time if I didn't say it perfectly the first time. And that type of stigma is something I had to actively work on and fight against in my own language learning. So that's something that I would put out there for students to don't be afraid to make mistakes. They are the key to your learning and to becoming more fluent in the language that you're trying to learn and getting to that bilingually fluent level that a lot of people are striving for. The most rewarding thing, I think, for me is seeing those eureka moments or those aha moments when students really get something that they were struggling with and finding those unique and engaging ways to get them through the difficult moments and engage in their productive struggle and get through the other side of that and succeed with what it is that they were struggling with. My absolute favorite moment of a tutoring session or working with learners in general on their learning evolution is many of those moments, hopefully in an ideal world where you get them really engaged and really excited because they see that they can, right? Of course, content knowledge, being very knowledgeable, having a certain level of expertise in your subject area is crucial to be a good tutor. But to be a great tutor, I think you also have to be a person in the classroom, not just someone who is seeking to transmit knowledge and deposit that in your student. Uh, I think that you have to bring a human element to the classroom. You have to be willing to adapt how you teach to the way that your different students learn because everybody learns a little bit differently. I think that it's also important to make genuine connections with your students, not just from the tutor student basis, but from person to person. And all of that comes together in making your sessions more enjoyable, more comfortable, more engaging. And if your student is comfortable with you, ideally they are in a better position to learn because the anxiety surrounding making mistakes or not knowing the person on the other side of the camera very well and, and not feeling super at ease while you're learning, it makes a huge difference. Mm -hmm.